everybody, I'm Argofum, and I am playing Dark Romance, Punchback of Notre Dame. <laughs> Monster Gargoyle. Captain Frederick de Boer, you have proved yourself to be an honorable man, but to become a knight of the Parisian elite order, you must complete a brave deed. I hereby order you to arrest Quasimodo, a dangerous criminal. I hear he's hunting Esmeralda, the street dancer. Please bring her here. We'll keep her safe until he is justly tried. I've seen you speak with her, so I doubt she'll refuse. As you know, your friend, Captain Victor, mysteriously disappeared while investigating Quasimodo as well. So the reputation of the Parisian elite order is at stake, along with his life. Take my carriage to the heart of Paris. My informants tell me he'll be there today. That's the story. I am Captain Frederick. I need to save my sort of girlfriend, Esmeralda, from the vicious criminal known as Quasimodo. He's planning to attack her. He's already attacked my friend Victor. And unfortunately, there's a guard in the way. Halt! Paris is in a state of emergency while the criminal Quasimodo walks free. You can't pass here without a decree signed by the Cardinal himself. But, but, I just talked to the Cardinal. I came here in his carriage. If the Cardinal really wants me to stop Quasimodo, why did he post a guard preventing me from reaching Quasimodo? It doesn't make sense to me. Ah, well. Our order has existed for hundreds of years. It maintains peace in Paris, which is criminals. It's an honor for me to be part of the order. Wanted, the most dangerous criminal in Paris. It's Quasimodo. Report him to the Parisian elite order. 1,000 silver. Wow, they want a lot of money for Quasimodo. We have a map, which will live over here. We have a griffin emblem and a clean cloth, as well as a crow. I need to find a way to scare that crow. I need to get rid of it. Over here on the left, we have some amulets and charms. Ow! Okay, we got another gargoyle flying straight at me. Ugh. So it's a hint button. You can click on it and it indicates what you can do. So it says I can pick up this gear and I can pick up this wrench. I can also pick up these bracelets. So uh, every now and then we have some bracelets. This little thing will glow, letting us know if there are bracelets we can pick up. So this is Cardinal Frollo. He looks very angry. Very, very angry. He's been like a father to me. Really? Because he doesn't seem like the nice fatherly type. He seems more like the angry villain type. Alrighty then, uh, let's check my bag. In my bag I have a task list. I'm never gonna look at it, but it's good to know it's there. We also have a closed tube. And let's open. Let's open the carriage, take a look inside. So we need to find the three things at the bottom of the screen. We have a star, we have a sun, and we have a moon. We're gonna put the three of them over here to wake up the ferret. Hello, I'm Taller. I was born human, but Quasimodo turned me into a ferret. Please release me. Meanwhile, I'll tell you all about him. That is correct. A talking ferret is going to tell us Quasimodo's life story. I have a feeling this scene was not in the original book. Frollo despised mirrors because he was ugly and hunchbacked as a wheel. People even threw tomatoes at him until one day when he found a dark book describing a ritual for becoming handsome. We have letters at the bottom of the screen which are in yellow. You want to click on those letters. So, for example, here is Frollo. And here's the mirror, and here's the tomato. So the story is that Frollo used to be the ugly, evil hunchback, but then he found an evil spell. When the time had come, he found a rare violet orchid and performed the ritual over the beautiful babe, Quasimodo. 
Frollo absorbed his youth and beauty, while Quasimodo shriveled like an old boot. He stole Quasimodo's handsomeness. And they basically switched places, so now Quasimodo's kind of the evil, angry hunchback. And Frollo is, well, still evil and angry all the time, but at least he's good looking. Soon Frollo climbed the ladder to become Cardinal. Quasimodo served him faithfully, stealing gold and committing crimes. Recently, Quasimodo read a letter about the ritual, so now he's plotting something in the cathedral. All right, Quasimodo has recently found out about the evil spell Frollo performed on him, and it sounds like Quasimodo went rogue, and he's out for revenge, although he is already committing crimes, stealing gold and uh, setting buildings on fire, so that's, that's not good. And here's something I find interesting. So the guard said he wanted a letter from Cardinal Frollo saying, I'm on board, I'm here to stop Quasimodo. This is not that letter. Nope, I'm just going to throw that letter away. <laughs> Instead, I'm going to free the ferret. You freed me. Thank you. I'll never forget you. I'll repay you someday. Here, take this with my gratitude. He gives me some solvent, and we will see him again in the next video. Now, the solvent... Oh, hey, I got some achievements. That's cool. All right, so uh, I'm going to put the griffin here. And I'll use the solvent over here. Now I have all three gears. I also have a lockpick, correct? A lockpick. And here's a poster of Quasimodo. Take my tube, I put the gears on the tube. That gives me a tourniquet, as well as the letter that the guard was hoping for. Alright, here you go, guard. Oh, so you're the Cardinal's envoy. Sorry for keeping you. Proceed. Yeah, you wasted a bunch of my time, like seven minutes, dude. On the other hand, I did make a friend with a ferret, so I guess it's all good. It's all good. And here's another friend. Hello. You must be Frederick? I'm Pierre. Cardinal Frollo asked me to meet you. Esmeralda will be dancing in the square today. That means Quasimodo will come too. I tried looking for her in the crowd, but it's hopeless. There's too many people. Perhaps I could be of assistance? You know Esmeralda, so perhaps you'll manage to find her. Be careful. That crowd is tumultuous. Come. Perhaps we can find a way to quiet them down. Oh yes, Esmeralda and I are very, very good friends. I am sure she'll recognize me. So this is a puzzle. We need to figure out what these various characters need. Like, this guy needs boots. I lost my good shoes in a game of cards. So we give him boots. And this man needs arrows. This woman needs a necklace, I believe. I lost my favorite necklace. Have you seen it? I was correct. Her necklace is right here. This man needs a mask. And this man needs money. Uh, I can't find my pouch. Was it stolen? Here's your pouch of money, sir. And I know you. Ah, oh, Captain Frederick. I haven't seen you in ages. What can a knight like you need from a simple street dancer like me? Your love. I need your love, Esmeralda. I mean, uh, I, I need to protect you from Quasimodo. What? That criminal Quasimodo is hunting me? Of course I'll go with you. Yeah, he's planning on kidnapping you, but don't worry, I'll keep you safe. Please, can you hold my medallion? It's all I have left of my parents, and I'm afraid I might lose it in this crowd. If it's important to you, then it's important to me. I will protect it. Aw, that's a nice medallion. You're working for the Cardinal too? Release Esmeralda at once, or I'll hurt you as well. Wait, what? What? what, what? Oh no! It's Quasimodo and his evil gargoyle. Ow! Oh, he attacked Pierre and, and kidnapped Esmeralda. Okay, I did a terrible job of protecting her. Sorry, Esmeralda. Ah, my arm. I didn't know Quasimodo had gargoyles serving him. Please, bandage my wound. I feel dizzy from loss of blood. 
Yeah, the gargoyles were a nasty surprise, but hey, at least he didn't turn you into a ferret like he did with the other guy. That would have been nasty. And here's a tourniquet. That should help. Thanks, but it still hurts. Please, soothe my pain. Here, take this. Alrighty. So now we have a bunch of puzzles trying to create a potion to help Pierre's arm. So that is a leather glove. We're going to use it over here on the left. Pull those vines away. Once upon a time, a charming boy was born to a French family. One day he was kidnapped by a man in a hood who was ugly and hunchbacked. I wonder who this story is about. You wonder who this story is about, Frederick? It's Quasimodo! It says his name right here! We just heard the story! Were you not paying attention when the ferret was talking? Well, the boy named Quasimodo returned, but now he was the one who was ugly and humpbacked. The family raised him, but he left when he was 18. Now he just lives in the cathedral. All by himself. Poor Quasimodo. It is a tragic story, but that doesn't justify kidnapping people. Oh, and we have a diary page. Um, we have diary pages in this game. Pages from Esmeralda's diary. The guard demanded to know where I'd gotten money. They think the Romani don't earn, only steal. The judge based... They judge based on hateful rumor. Ah, poor, poor Esmeralda having to deal with racism and such. Okay, that's the recipe, which we're gonna make. That is more gold bracelets. I need three inlays here, and I'm going to use the wrench to undo those bolts. That should give me some more items. Alright, that's one of the items I'm looking for. That's an aloe. So let's open the recipe. Honey, aloe, oh. Honey. And aloe. Right. Next, we are going to grab an inlay here and use the lockpick on... I think this is Esmeralda's traveling suitcase. It might not be. It has an advertisement for her. Today, the talented and charming dancer Esmeralda to Silver. I wish I could see her dance. So this puzzle, we interact with all the stuff and find pictures. So here's a picture. We are going to use this to smash the piggy bank. And that gives us a coin. We're going to use the coin on the other piggy bank. That gives us a deer. We use the deer on the deer in play. And we also have uh, the pictures. Picture, picture, picture. So all the pictures show us the solution to this puzzle. You want to get the first one in place. You can tell it's placed because it, you can tell when it's in place because that has a green outline. So number one, then number two. Then number four. Number four. Number four. And number three. You do number three last because it's it, it moves by itself. That's why you do it last. That's how you solve the puzzle. I never knew my parents. I grew up in a camp, and as long as I can remember, I've always liked singing and dancing. She's a born dancer. The audience adores her. Oh, I love her so much. I wish I could see her sing and dance. Okay, noisemaker scares away a crow, giving me a mug, and uh, some mint. Mint. Okay, mint goes over here, and we're gonna put the rag here as well. Now we have the healing potion, and it looks like we also have tarot cards in this game. Here's a tarot card. So we can collect those if we want. What do they look like? We could just look at them. Okay. Well, that's that's cool, I guess. Pierre, here's your potion. Thank you. We must do our best to arrest Quasimodo. I'll go to the order and ask for reinforcements. Here, you can use this as a wrench. Thank you, Pierre. Esmeralda! No! She's in the cathedral crying for help. I need to rescue her, but we 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 can't. It's locked. I need to use brute force to open it. And I will do that in just a moment. First, let's put the handle here. Yes, I've got a handle on the situation. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Hazimoto was born a beautiful child. But when a dark sorcerer heard of his untold beauty, he stole it, leaving the child hideous. Once again, we're going to be told Quasimodo's backstory. This is not the first puzzle we've had that tells Quasimodo's story. So this is the story of how the evil, evil Frollo came and stole Quasimodo's beauty. So we want to put the items where they go. Frollo was holding a magic book. The uh, logs go in the fireplace. The candle goes with the other candles. And the horse goes over here. Everyone feared him, claiming Quasimodo was cursed, so his family was forced to cast him out. The cruel townspeople mocked him, even tying him to a pillar in the central square. Suddenly, a cloaked man untied Quasimodo. The tomato goes here. Frodo gets the knife. I mean, we don't know for sure that's Frollo, but that's gotta be him, right? It looks like him. He's wearing the red robes and everything. And he looks like the guy who cast that evil spell on baby Quasimodo. Uh, flowers go there, and we're going to use this to clean off the sign monster. This man whisked him safely into the cathedral. When Quasimodo asked his name, he replied only master. And thus, Quasimodo served him gratefully. Ooh, and that's not good. I mean, it's good that Frollo saved Quasimodo's life. I think he only did it out of guilt because he knows he stole Quasimodo's beauty. And then he forced Quasimodo to be his slave for decades. So that's that's not good. That's that's definitely not good. A uh, gargoyle wing goes on the gargoyle. The bell goes over here. And uh, the mirror goes over here. Excellent. So we're going to grab these items. One of them is the case inlay, the third case inlay. That gives me access to the gun. I will use this gun. First you use the gunpowder, then you put in the bullets, then you use whatever that thing's called. I think it's a ramrod, maybe? Use it to push the bullets in. Excellent, so we are going to use this to open the lock. That way, Captain Frederick can go inside the cathedral and rescue his beloved Esmeralda. 